All right, we got a lot of people showing up. Very good. You guys all ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, me too. I'm gonna make a pumpkin log, which is just as delicious as it sounds. It's hard to make though. You got to get the chemistry just right. Because you have to roll it up into a, a roll, right? So if you don't get it just right, then it cracks. It's like the, um, anybody ever watch the Great British Baking Show on Netflix? If you've seen that, you'll see when uh, some people make their, um, they bake their stuff too long or something and, and it cracks when they try and bend it. Yeah, my mom watches it sometimes. I've seen that. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a good lighthearted show. Most people are nice to each other because they're British. <laughs> if you get Americans on there, it would be a totally different show. Anyway, uh, let's see, okay. Good, well, we got um, 16 people, that's really good. Thanks for thanks for showing up everybody the day before a holiday, that's good. Um, let me share my screen over here. So if you missed my, um, if you missed my email from earlier today, um, you know what, wait a second. Let me just make sure, yep, okay, still recording. So if you missed my email from earlier today, then you know that, uh, for some reason, or then you don't know, that for some reason, uh, last week's Science Olympiad session uh, did not record, and I don't know why that is. Um, it only recorded the first like two seconds uh, of, of the session, and then it cut out. Um, so I just checked this one again. It says it's recording, so I assume it is. I assume we should be okay, but it, uh, if we're not, then I'll have to contact Zoom and try and figure out what's going on. Um, but there have been a couple of changes. I don't know if anybody might have taken a look at, at this um, uh, before today, but if you take a look at this, there have been a couple of changes. Um, we did have one person who decided not to participate this year, so that's okay. And uh, so one of the alternates um, was moved up into that person's spot, which was a happy thing for them. And um, we had a little bit of switching around in, uh, in team two. Um, so let's see, I think that involved Gabrielle and Amelia. Okay, so uh, let's see, I think I switched you two between food science and game on. Um, so, uh, you know, a couple of little changes there. All right, uh, let's see, participants. Okay. All right. Neither of them are here. So I guess they'll tell me later if that's okay. Uh, so the rest of you, um, hopefully you saw my email, like I said, from earlier today, and you know that there are some really good uh, resources to take a look at. So if we go to here and uh, let's see. Yeah, so I've given you on, on this email, if you haven't seen it yet, I've given you links to the resources that we talked about last week. Um, and so everybody can download 
you know, exams and answer keys here from a shared uh, Google Drive. Now, uh, I will say that if you weren't here last week and you didn't try it or you weren't listening in, then um, you might not know that in order to access this archive, it's a shared Google folder, right? So in order to access it, um, you actually have to exit out of your uh, Google account on your Chromebook first, okay? Because otherwise it won't let you, um, it won't let you get there. Um, is that, Sid, uh, you figured that out, right? So you can access it on uh, a Chromebook, but you have to log out of your, your Gmail, your Google account, right? Um, yeah, although I don't know if you can do it on a school Chromebook because I think you oh. have to be logged on to a school account. Oh yeah, sure, okay, of course. Yeah, so, um, so it may not actually work on your Chromebooks, but, uh, but hopefully you can use you know, uh, another computer or even a, a phone to get to these things. Um, so let's, let me just show you what it looks like when you do this. So you go to, uh, to here, and, and again, I know that uh, most of you, if not all of you saw this already, but we go to uh, click on exams and answer keys, and then you have to enter a password, and I gave you that password in the email. It's Hemingway, H-E-M-E-N-W-A-Y. All right. And Can then, you repeat the password? Sure. H-E-M-E-N-W-A-Y. I'll put it in the chat. chat. Okay. okay, so that's the password for that. Um, and you have to make sure that you're in the division B, right? I'm gonna say never on that. And then, so it, it takes you to this link. And then it's a shared Google Drive, and you'll see there that every event uh, under the um, Harvard Invitational, the Harvard Brown Invitational, is is on here. Okay, so this had uh, last year's exams. Okay, Andrew, no problem. See you later. Have a good Thanksgiving. Um, and. So, you know, whatever you're working on, this is probably a really good place to start. Okay, so let's say you are doing, I don't know, I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm going to click something. Did it work? No. Uh, yeah, okay. So, oh, <laughs> of course. I click on the one that, that, uh, that I've clicked on before. Let me try a different one. Whoa, who did that? All right, let me try meteorology, okay. So any of you doing meteorology, um, here you'll find last year's exam, so you'll know exactly what these things are gonna look like. <laughs> okay, I don't know who's doing this, um, but it's, it's pretty clever. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see what exact, exactly what the exams are gonna look like, and uh, you'll get an idea of the kinds of questions you'll be asked, okay? Um, and thankfully, not only do they have the exam itself, but they have the answer key. Now, you should definitely do the exam first before looking at the answer key. I know it's going to be tempting to just look at the answer key first, but you'll get so much more out of it. You'll learn more. You'll know more what it's going to be like to actually do the event uh, if, you, um, if you do it this way, all right? So, ah, interesting. Seems like my uh, Zoom is being hacked a little bit. As long as there's nothing uh, terrible on it, I won't, um, I won't bother ending it. Um, but anyway, so that's, uh, like I said, that's a good place to start. Um, in fact, I, I may send out an email, uh, another email after tonight, just saying, um, just saying hi, first of all, hi, uh, to, to all of you to say, um, you know, for homework, a sort of a homework thing, um, you know, download one of these exams and, and complete it by next time. Uh, let's see, the other thing though, before we do that, if you go to, if you go to that same link in my email, you'll also find 
that the 2019 uh, answer keys are exams and answer keys are here too. So we can click there. Again, it's another shared Google Drive. Uh, so these will be now the, um, what do you call it? The um, dynamic planet is going to be a different it's going to be a different topic. This year it's oceanography, right? Um, so, and last year it was oceanography. Uh, but this, let's see, in 2019 it was something different. Let's just see what that was. That was. Ice. Hmm. Seems like it was about the cryosphere or the uh, ice on Earth. Okay, so you know, just be careful if your event is um, you know changes each year, then that could uh, that could affect um, that could affect whether or not it's relevant to you. Okay. All right, so um, yeah, like I said, that's a good place to start. And there we go. Um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna stop sharing because somebody's starting to get a little bit uh, carried away with uh, writing on the screen there. Um, <clears throat> so if you all can do that now, another, another uh, place you can go to, if we go back to my email, if you can look at that, um, you can also go to the Harvard Undergraduate Science Olympiad event uh, videos, and so they have a channel on YouTube. I'm going to I'm going to paste this uh, going to paste this URL in the chat. Actually, I'll paste the whole thing. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I will paste all the text from my email in the chat. Okay. Oh, so to everyone. Okay, there we go. So I've given you actually four uh, resources here. That first one is the one that we just looked at. So it has um, it has last year's event, or it has last year's exams, and it has 2019's exams, which is really really useful. Um, potentially useful for for studying purposes, rather rather than actually. Um, practicing could be these uh, YouTube videos that the uh, Harvard Undergraduate Science Olympiad has has put up for us. Um, they look pretty useful, although some of them seem to be more tied to um, Division C events uh, than to uh, uh, than to Division B. So uh, check those out there. Depending on your event, there may be a couple that are relevant to you or not. Um, this Science Olympiad Student Center, this is another good one too. And there are two links there. Uh, it kind of comes up as, as almost like, um, as almost like a, a screen on your phone with all the apps on the, on the front. Um, and so there are two links there that, that again, they, they look like app uh, links um, to test exchange and test archive, right? And in there, you'll find some, some tests and answer keys from previous, uh, previous years as well. All right, and then finally, there's this one. Um, I forget the name of this middle school in Georgia, but uh, I think the the material on this website is from 2015, maybe 2014, something like that. Um, but there's a lot of good information, a lot of good background information on that on that site. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Any questions on those things? Okay, very good. Well, um, um, I have one question actually. Yeah, go ahead, Cameron. So it's not exactly related to what you're talking to, but um, when we're actually at the Harvard Brown competition, how much time are we going to be given to answer the questions? That's a, that's a, a good question. I don't know offhand. Um, let's see. I think it actually says on the uh, on the exam. 
but I know that the, um, uh, let's see. No, oh, no, that's not it. All right, so I'm looking at one of the exams now. Okay, so yeah, I think it says on the front page of the exam how long you have. Um, so for disease detectives, what I'm looking at right now on the screen that I'm not sharing with you because um, someone was interfering with that, uh, the allotted time is 50 minutes. That's the first thing it says under, under directions. So my guess is that would be uh, the same this year. Let's see if, um, let's see if that's true for another one, like heredity. Uh, oh, it needs an answer key. <laughs> ah, heredity doesn't actually say, but um, I think 50 minutes is gonna be a good bet because remember that the, uh, the schedule itself is divided up into um, one hour blocks of time, right? So in other words, the, the first block of time uh, is 11 to 12, and then it's 12.15 to 1.15, then 1.30 to 2.30, 2.45 to 3.45, and 4 to 5. Okay, so um, I think 50 minutes is going to be a good bet. Anybody else have general questions like that? Okay. Um, well, let's go back and just make sure. Now, I'm, I'm going to make another spreadsheet to make sure that we're not missing anything um, where I'm going to list, instead of listing by, um, by event, I'm going to list by person. Okay, so right now you're, you're seeing the list uh, by event here. And um, you can easily, obviously, find your name but uh, oh, I'll put the times in too. But um, I'm gonna make another spreadsheet that lists uh, by person, okay? And then the, the events, and all of you have either two or three events that you're doing. Um, so you'll be able to look it up more quickly that way. Um, what will we do in the other 10 minutes? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a good question, Mia, but uh, I've, you know, I think you're just going to kind of relax. Um, you know, keep in mind that these exams were written for an event that took place in person. So the 10 minutes was for you to, um, you know, it, it was like five minutes before the exam started to kind of gather your thoughts and relax a little bit. And then you have 50 minutes and then, and then five minutes afterwards to, um, to sort of gather your things if you had to gather your stuff there, you know, let's say you were doing a lab uh, event, um, and then to go back to your, to go back to the homeroom where everybody was gathering. Okay. Um, but this year, uh, who knows? I mean, maybe they will make it longer because nobody's going to have to do that, right? You're just going to be kind of sitting at your, uh, at your computer and, and, uh, and testing away, working on the exam. So it's hard to say, but I think, uh, I think anywhere from 50 minutes to an hour is what you'll have. Um, I have another question. And who is this? It's Cameron. Okay, go ahead. Um, are we required to do all three events that we picked? No, no. Uh, in fact, um, let's see, Cameron. Um, oh, shoot. I'm on team two. Yep. Okay. Uh, here we go. So you have been uh, so over here in the in the first four columns are the events that that you've been assigned. So you're doing heredity and uh, reach for the stars. And I think that's it. Okay, can I just do heredity for the Harvard Brown competition? Uh, nope. if you want to if you want to participate, then you've got to do both um, that you're assigned. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, so that's it. It's kind of like, you know, we're a team here. We want to make sure that we're all, uh, we're all kind of equal and doing, doing an equal amount of, of, uh, input here. Okay. So, um, I know that on each team, team one and team two, there's one person who's doing three events. Um, 
and I checked with each of those people and they said that was okay with them. But if that, if that changes for either one of you, just let me know and, and we'll try and find somebody else who, who's willing to do three events. But all of, all of you, other, other than those two people, everybody has, has two, all right? And those two people have three. Um, so I forget who it is actually. Team one, it's, uh, um, hmm. Well, I don't remember. I think it might be Alan. Is that right? I don't know. If you're looking, if you are looking at the list now and you see your name three times, let me know. I can't remember. <laughs> I know I have three events. Is that uh, Gianni? Gianni. Okay. So yeah, on team two, you've got three events. All right. And then uh, the person from team one who has three. Is it Athena? Is it Andrew? No. Remy? Troy? Well, anyway, not quite sure who it is, but um, uh, yeah, give me a minute. I'll figure it out. Was it Emma? Uh, maybe. Emma. Yep, you're right, Sid. Good catch. Yep, so it's Emma on team one and, um, and then uh, Gianni on team two. Yep. Okay, any other general questions? Okay, so I see uh, Rowan put something in the chat that soinc.org is good, S-O-I-N-C.org. Yeah, absolutely, that's a good one. Um, it's, um, it's the main Science Olympiad site, really, of, of, uh, uh, of the Science Olympiad world. Um, it's just that they, you know, in order, they, they don't really provide, um, they don't really provide the last year's exams and stuff. Now do keep in mind though, I know this is confusing because there are a lot of different sources, a lot of different resources and a lot of different sort of directions that these things come from. But, um, but remember that there's also uh, the MySO here. And by the way, um, did anybody present at the meeting right now? Did anybody do the, um, the circuit lab? Uh, what was it, Circuit Lab uh, STEM showdown last week? I know a couple of you had signed up for it, but maybe nobody who's here. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so remember this one. So if you happen to be in Circuit Lab, um, uh, da, 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 reach for the stars or um, disease detectives, then there are practice tests there, okay? on the MySO page of, of sewing.org. Um, if you are in one of the other events though, um, your, uh, your event may, may not have been posted yet. So, so next month in December, uh, it'll be weather. So anybody who's doing meteorology, you'd be interested in that. Okay, so they'll have, they will have uh, practice tests posted there um, next month. All right. 
Okay, so let's see, what else do we have? Uh, oh, there is an announcement, yes. Uh, let me find it. Just got this announcement the other day. Now, what was it? Um, oh yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. So speaking of the MySO, and in particular, the December event, which is going to be um, weather, right? So meteorology, essentially. Um, the, uh, there are free tickets being, um, being offered there. So I was sent this email. Let me send it to the, the uh, BMS Science Olympiad uh, email address, and then I'll forward it to, to you guys from there. All right, um, so let's see, I'm gonna forward this. Where is forward? There it is. Forward to BMS, SO, oh, that's the one, send. All right. Um, okay, let me bring this back over. Nope, not there. Oh, well, I'll put it back when I'm ready. Okay, inbox. Okay. Ah, there it is. Just showed up. Okay. So let me uh, forward this to you guys. And basically what it says is that the, um, there are a thousand free tickets in both divisions for the December meteorology STEM showdown, which is going to be taking place on December 17th. So we'll have a couple more meetings before that happens. But, um, but if you're doing meteorology, especially, you should uh, check this out and get involved. Um, in the STEM showdown. So forward to everybody there. Set. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, there we go. So it, it just went, you should get it. Right, so starting on December 1st, so that's coming right up next week actually, um, there will be a study guide, in other words, the um, practice, practice exam and the answer key for meteor meteorology. So if you're lucky enough to be in one of those four events that, that's happening, actually five, right? Um, one of those five events that's happening before the Harvard event at the end of January, then you'll have an, yet another um, resource for, uh, uh, for studying. So the other one, the one in January is gonna be anatomy and physiology. So if you're involved in that, you're, you're in luck. Okay. All right, so um, we have about, you know, a few minutes left in the uh, session. Um, if you guys want to, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see who's here and breakout rooms. Um, wait a minute. So I don't know if breakout rooms are, are really worth it now for 10 minutes, but what the heck. Uh, okay. Neil, Athena, Rowan, and Kate. Are you guys here? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Some of you are. All right. Um, so assign 20 participants into, oh, into how many rooms? I don't know. Uh, how many events do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty
16, 16. Manually, okay. Actually, I'll make it 10 because I'm sure they're not gonna be all 16. Okay, so create rooms, breakout room one, yep. All right, so Athena and Rowan were here and Neil and Kate. No, I guess not. Okay, so um, you guys will go into one room. Breakout room one. Um, breakout room two will be Remy, Troy, Gianna, and Amelia. So there's Amelia. Gianni, uh, there you are. Um, Remy and Troy. Troy. Remy. Okay, there you go. So there's that one. Um, I got room three, Crime Busters. Andrew, Mie, Nitya, and Alexandra. Uh, Nitya. Okay, so there are two of you in that room. Breakout room four is gonna be Density Lab. That's Julia, Emma, Gianni, and Gabrielle. Oh, Gianni, you're already assigned to one. Um, so Julia and Emma. Oh, Emma's not there. Okay. Actually, so let me go back to here and I'll move Gianni to the Density Lab one with Julia. Uh, which is four. Okay. Boy, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> uh, disease detectives: Rahul, Mie, Alan, and Sana. Rahul is here. Mie has already been assigned, I think. Sana and Alan. Sana is here. Okay, so there's a couple people in that room. Um, Bear room six. Dynamic Planet, Sid, Alan, Herniksha, and Rylan. Sid. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, Sid, no, none of your compatriots for disease detectives, or uh, Dynamic Planet, rather, are present. Um, try the next one, Food Science. Science Noah, Emma, Rowan, and Gabrielle. Nope. Okay. Nobody there. So fossils. Nitya, Noah, Rylan, and Owen. Already been assigned. All right. Game on. Emma, Remy, Benjamin, Amelia. Ben. Okay, only one person there. Mm. Heredity, Neil, Troy, Sana, Cameron. Cameron, now everybody's ending up in a breakout room by themselves. <laughs> this is not easy to do. I think we, we, need, uh, we need almost everybody to show up in order for this to work. Um, let's see, Aiden, wait a minute. Heredity machines, okay. Rahul, Sean, Benjiani. Um, ornithology, Iris, Owen, Sophia, Iris. Okay. Um, Road Scholar, Aiden and Nachiket. Can go in there. I'm gonna add a room. And then Sophia and Theja. Um, let's see, where's Theja? Okay, so Sophia and Theja, I'll put you in the last room. All right, open all rooms, there we go. Uh, I didn't get an invite. Okay.
Okay, and who is that? Uh, me, Nitya. Nitya, oh, sorry about that. Um, let's see. Your um, events are what again? I put down oh, Dynamic uh, Planet, Crime Busters, and Reach for the Stars. Right, but what you ended up with is over here. Um, okay, so let's see. That would have been room three. So I'll put you in room three. Oh, oh, you should have gotten, because I added you to room three. You should have gotten an invite, no? I don't have it. Hmm. Oh, wait, it's, it's here now. Oh, okay, good. I don't think there's anyone in my breakout room. Okay. Um, All right. I have uh, alone in my breakout room. Hmm? I was alone in my breakout room. Yeah, I know. Some, some of you were because um, because there aren't enough people here to uh, have everybody with a partner. Does that make sense? All right, that's fine. So let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Reach for the stars. Okay, let me put you in that one. Reach for the stars. Um, okay. Just a second. Okay. So reach for the stars would be Sid. Oh, okay. So yeah, let me put you in here. Break out room six. All right, Cameron, you're now in, in room, what, eight? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to move you to breakout room six. Okay. Two. 